Hey guys, today I would like to show you how to create a validation rule using pick list values. Uh, this has caused a lot of trouble for administrators creating simple validation rules because pick lists don't really like to agree with the validation standard settings. Um, simply, go, simply because the system doesn't recognize uh, these as, obviously they're not free text fields, so you have to use some functions to get around the pick list. Now this, is, this video is really designed for beginning administrators or possibly some novice administrators um, and also administrators attempting to get a little bit more comfortable uh, within Salesforce. Now what we're going to do is we'll start by saying that we require the type field to have a value if the industry field has a value. So if we have something in the industry field, we have to have something in the type field. That's what we're going to start with. So let's go to setup. Customize, Accounts, Validation Rules. We'll create a new validation rule on the account. Actually, let me back up real quick. I would like to delete this validation rule that I'd been working on. Okay, so we'll create a new validation rule. We will call it uh, something that we can go by. Let's see type required. You can put a description here if you like. Uh, I usually recommend to put who requested the validation rule, uh, when it was requested, and what the business reason is for it to be requested. That way if you're ever going through your validation rules and you're not sure why they're there or an end user is asking why they can't do something, uh, you have documentation as to why. So we'll start by using the wizard to insert our fields. And we're going to need the industry field. And we're also going to need the type field. And I'll separate these. So what we're looking for is if industry has a value, then the type must have a value. And in a validation rule, we're really looking to create some type of criteria that when it evaluates to true, the error message will show. So we'll start simple and we'll say, if the industry is not equal to blank, meaning that it has something in it, and we'll insert our and operator here, and the type equals blank, then it will fire. So that's simple enough, right? Industry is not equal to blank, and type equals blank, error message fires. Now what you're going to notice right away is we're using pick list values, so Salesforce will error on us. So it says error filled industry is a pick list field. Pick list fields are only supported in certain functions. So an easy way to get around this, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in an error message. Um, okay. So one simple way that we can get around this is by using the text function. And I'll show it to you right over here. Over on the side are your functions. So let's come down to text. So text converts a value to text using standard display format. So let's insert that. So all we do is we have this formula text and then we put our value in. So let's insert another one. We're going to need it twice, once for industry and once for type. And we will just cut and paste our fields into this text. 
So we want to wrap our fields in this text function. And I will put these right back where they were. All right. So now we have here, we still have industry is not equal to blank and type equals blank. So let's check our syntax now. So now you can see we got rid of the error. So let's save this and try it out. We'll go to an account and we'll say we need a value for industry. So now we have our situation. Industry is not equal to blank. It says agriculture. Type is equal to blank. So let's save it. So we get our error message. Type is required when industry is filled. So in the simplest form, we have straightened this out. Let's add a type. And now we can save with no problem. OK. Now I want to show you a little bit more that we can do with pick list values and validation rules. So I'm going to go back to my validation rule. And you may be in a situation where you can't just have it not equal to blank. Maybe you only want a type to be required when industry is equal to agriculture. So let's get rid of our text because we'll no longer need that for industry because what we're going to do is we're going to require that industry be equal to agriculture and text be equal and sorry type be equal to blank in order to get the error. So if industry equals agriculture and type is blank, we need an error. If industry is equal to anything other than agriculture and type is blank, then we're good to go. So let's change this not equal to to an equal. And if I were to save this right away, I would get my pick list value problem. But what we can do is use another function for pick lists called is pick val. Checks whether the value of a pick list field is equal to a string literal. So that can be a little confusing. So all we do is take our pick list field, insert it where it says pick list field, and we give it a literal value. Now we have to put this in quotations. So I'm going to type agriculture in here. And we're going to put this back where it belongs. Now it says if the pick list value industry is equal to agriculture, let's get rid of the rest of this. My mistake on even having that there. So if our pick list industry is equal to agriculture and the type is equal to blank, then we want an error message. So we will say type is required when industry is agriculture for our error message. And let's try it out. So I'll save this. We'll make our way back to the account again. And you can see that we don't have an error message just yet. Obviously, prospect is still fine to be there. But a thing to note is validation rules do not fire on historical records. They only fire when a record is attempted to be modified, whether that's data load or manual change. They only fire on uh, records going forward, new records or a record that is being modified. So I'm going to come in here and uh, I'm going to start by showing you that it works. So let's change this to none. We now have industry equals agriculture and type is blank. Let's save that. So it says type is required when industry is agriculture. So let's just show that it is working and we'll change industry to apparel. And obviously that saves no problem. Now let's take it back to agriculture and put a value in for type. And again, it saves no problem. But as soon as we remove this value, we get our error message. So those are a couple of different ways that we can work with pick list values and validation rules. If you don't care what the value is, you can just say text. And actually with that text function, we can also say text equals agriculture. We can say, I'll just, I'll just show you real quickly. 
here, edit, and in place of what we have here, we could say text industry equals agriculture. And we could have that exact, that's the exact same formula. Instead of using the is pick val, we can just say text industry equals agriculture. And the same goes for type down here. We can say is pick val, but you can't use that with blank. So those are a couple of different ways. We can use the text function or we can use the is pick val function. And these are both great ways to get around those errors when creating validation rules with pick list. Uh, if I've said anything out of place, please feel free to comment and let me know and I'll update the video. Uh, and if you have any other videos that you'd like to see or any other uh, anything that has to do with Salesforce administration, just comment below and let me know. Uh, I appreciate you watching my video and feel free to watch any other videos on my channel and I appreciate it. Thanks a lot guys.